Hey with Even, uh, my name is Joseph and so tonight I am with Amy and Charmaine and Ian and Kimberly and so we're actually quite a big team here tonight and uh, we're ready to minister to you so please write your name in the comments and we'd love to minister to you. Also get some uh, communion together, get some juice and crackers or water and bread whatever you have available and then we're going to minister and then after a few people we will have communion together. Okay, so uh, we're going to jump in right away uh, and start to minister. So the first person uh, tonight that we're going to minister is Hannah Mines. Okay, Hannah, you know what, just before I start with you, let me just quickly say something about prophetic protocol. So prophetic protocol is actually very important. I'm actually not supposed to prophesy unless I say something about it. In 1 Corinthians chapter 14 verse 3 it says when we prophesy we must the word must edify exhort and comfort and then it says in verse 29 let two or three prophesy and then let that word be judged so it's important when you receive a word go and sit write it down pray about it get from the word just clarity about what is speaking to you usually when the Lord prophesies to you he opens up a door to a, a bigger <coughs> word with the responsibilities with targets and things he wants you to do and the more you are obedient and you work with him in this word the more you see the promises of God being fulfilled so therefore when we get prophetic word it's actually quite a big responsibility because we stand accountable before the Lord for what he has given to us and we we also accountable to go and pray and, and ask him and things like that so that's that's a little bit of protocol don't feel now a burden on you you can still get your word. <laughs> I'm just saying, yeah, you have to work. You have to work with your word. Um, is there something else? Mm, well, okay. Um, uh, uh, I prophesy with, usually with Amy or Kimmy or both of us, we prophesy every single day to 10 people. So you can just look on a channel. You'll see every day there comes out a video with 10 people that we prophesy to. If you would like during the week receive a prophetic word from us, just in the comments, you can write your name in the comments and we would love to minister uh, to you, but it's only 10, 10 every single day. Okay, that's a, that's a separate video from this. Um, we will continue to do this one. Okay, so now, Anna, now we're gonna minister to you. All right. uh, uh, so Anna, uh, the Lord shows me you with a uniform. Now, you know when you join the military, then you don't get to wear your normal casual clothes. They give you a uniform that you have to wear. Or even if you go and work at a, uh, different businesses, uh, then they give you a uniform, especially in a tourism business. Uh, and I felt that the Lord says He's giving you a uniform. And a uniform has with it a position, authority, status, give you access, uh, it means you get training, uh, and it, it also means that He can use you in a place where He could not have used you beforehand. And so I just see a lot of uh, education, a lot of authority, uh, and position that God gives to you. God bless you. Amen. This next word is for Ben Huda. Ben Huda, God loves you very much. The picture God showed me for you was while you were by the ocean and it was crashing waves and how God has given you like this baseball bat and how you were like hitting these waves with this baseball bat. And I just feel the Lord says there is a purpose for it, but not for that. And I just see how the Lord's calling you to speak peace. And I just see how just, just as Jesus said, peace be still. I just see how um, the words of God flows through you and you speak those words and you declare his peace um, and I just feel how the Lord has really placed a lot of words and revelations in your heart I don't know if you're a writer but I just saw a picture of you writing a lot and then about the baseball bat uh, I, I saw that it was if I hope this makes sense it was like you had this baseball bat to like um to 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 fight against the enemy like say for instance that there's like a shark in the ocean and then you're, then you're like trying to hit and you don't know where you're aiming and i i just felt how god is really going to give you like just that supernatural guidance and knowing where to aim how to hit how to get your target and i i just it's like a it's like a david and goliath thing and i just feel how the lord says i'm with you and i'm calling you to be a protector i'm calling you to, um to speak my peace um god loves you very much really hopes this I hope this word makes sense. God bless you. Our next word is for Layla Rope. Layla, what I saw for you when I prayed, I, I saw how God showed me you're climbing on this uh, bus, but it's like a brand, brand new bus, like 
just bought bus but i feel like how god shows me this bus is like a a musical bus or something so it's like you're going on a road trip and this is a musical bus um i feel like our god shares, shows me how you're going into a new season um lots of new things happening but i also saw like how god shows me that how he's like filling you up with with his spirit and i just feel like how you're gonna feel his presence and when you feel his presence i just feel like how creativity is gonna come over you and how just new things is gonna happen in your life be blessed thank you Layla, for being here tonight please remember write us a comment we love to hear from you the next word is for Tonya. Tonya, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I saw a picture of a breakaway, but it's like the communion when you break the cracker. It is to remember uh, what Jesus has done for us. So I see something in your life breaking away, but it's something good. Yes, it's a sacrifice, but it's something that's going to bring tremendous good. And you're going to remember it over and over again. But you remember for the blessings that it's bringing. It's not you you go through the suffering and the sacrifice every time when we take communion we are glad it's not that we cry uh, because jesus has been crucified again and again and again the price has been paid it has been settled it's been delivered and i feel something like that is going to happen in your life and i just see be excited be expectant uh, the lord's doing good things in your life be blessed and antonia please leave us a comment and to everybody we are recording so do not worry, you can go back and listen to this video later here on the channel. This next word is for Anna. The Lord shows me how he is speaking to you and, and the Lord shows me how you and him are going to go on a journey together and how he's speaking to you that he doesn't have to, it's almost like he doesn't have to yell from far. But I see how he's almost whispering inside of your ear because he is so close that he doesn't need to yell. The father says, I am right by you, daughter. I am always speaking to you. The Lord says, open your ears to me. Open your heart to me. Wake up and choose to hear the Lord's voice. Don't, uh, the Lord says that I am always speaking and you don't have to, to wait. When is he going to speak? When is he going to speak? He is always speaking over you. And when the Lord says that you must speak to your physical ears that you will hear his voice um be blessed hello awesome thank you very much anna uh christine um uh, you know there's a saying that say the acorn doesn't fall fall far from the tree <laughs> i don't know if I, apple. is it the apple <laughs> it's the apple uh, it's, it's, the apple. Uh, it's not in afrikaans that you say the um the akker van die ver van die boom nie. The apple is a full form. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, any case, the meaning of it, if I understand it correctly, it means that the child is like the mother. No? Okay. So, uh, I don't know if you even have a daughter or a son, but I, I see that there is a generational blessing and the same anointing that's on your life uh, and also that same characteristics of uh, persistence and perseverance and wisdom is also going to be on the lives of your children. God bless you. Amen. This next word is for Mel. Mel, God loves you so much. And I just saw um, a picture of a crown, but it was like you were molding it like pottery. And I just saw how, and it, but it was like gold. But I, And I just saw how you were molding it and God was helping you to develop it and make it. But, it, but I just feel the Lord says, you're not supposed to make it by yourself. I'm making this with you. And I just see how, how you you just do it with them and it becomes just so amazing so i just feel the lord says let's go and and know that you're in a season of growth that you're in a season of um, developing new skills brand new skills and talents and also god is really um really opening up your heart to receive more i just feel there's a whole wave of compassion and love that god wants to pour into you and healing that god wants to give to you in all areas of your life and i just feel the lord says it it is restoration growth but also letting go of the past and stepping into the new that God has for you I really feel that God has such an amazing calling for you to make something amazing and I really feel right now you're really in a in a growing um, in place in your life God loves you I just feel he's so excited for you God bless you our next word is for Frankie Moo. Frankie, God loves you so much. I just saw how God showed me like this whole bookshelf full of books. And I just felt like how this bookshelf is like each and every book is representing a season of your life. And I just feel like how God shows me that 
the, the, the bookshelf is not even close to finished. And I see how God shows me that he's giving you more experiences, giving you more opportunities. And I see with each and every opportunity how you just start to write a new book, a new chapter that you're going through. But I feel like our God shows me that with each book, how you're like growing and how you're like learning more and getting more experience. And I, I just feel like our God shows me this as well, that that each and every chapter and each and every book, it's like an inheritance for your children and your grandchildren. It's like, it's like, it's going to go, it's like a continuous process and how they're going to follow in your footsteps. And I just feel like our God shows me that His Spirit is going to grow even more in your life, but even so more in your children and your grandchildren's Amen. life. Be blessed. Amen. Thank you, Frankie, for being here tonight. Please remember, write us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. The next word is for Ilian. Ilian, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I saw a picture of you running outside into the rain and you're just like, yes, Lord, bless me, as the blessings of the Lord rain down upon you. Sometimes people make decisions they don't want to go out in the rain because it's wet and it's cold and they... But I just see how you run out and you accept it. And that's the process you're going to go through, accepting the blessings of the Lord. You need to know that the Lord wants to bless you. You need to expect the Lord to bless you because He said He's going to bless you. And then I just see how you need to soak in what the Lord is giving to you. And I see your, your the whole reason is your mentality needs to change. And when your mentality needs to change, the blessings follow suit. So really work on your mentality. Renew your mind. Focus on uh, God really loves you. God really wants to bless you. And He's going to bless you. Be blessed. Amen. Ilian, please leave us a comment. This next word is for Christina. The Lord shows me how He's taking you out of your comfort zone. And He's putting you in. And He's taking you into new territory. And, and new is sometimes hard. And it is different. But the Lord shows me how He's taking you out of routine. Out of religion. And into His new. That He wants you to walk. He wants you to live a new reborn life. You are born again. Your old self is dead. And the Lord wants you to live this 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 new life of this new creation that he has made you today be blessed hey so christina god bless you okay so uh, nally uh nally uh, the lord gave me a few things uh one you being uh, a pillar you be in training to be an elder in the house of god now, i know some people when they're young they become elders in churches but I felt that eldership is a position of authority, of spiritual maturity that the Lord is giving to you. Then the Lord showed me wings, uh, also one broken wing. Uh, and I saw how you like the eagle that's flying into the wind of the Holy Spirit. And even that one wing that's broken where you've been hurt in the past. And even in ministry where you've been hurt. I see how the Lord is healing uh, that wing in your life. God bless you. Amen. God bless you, Nelly. God loves you. This next word is for Jean. Jean, God loves you very much. Um, I, the picture God showed me for you is how you are the apple of God's eye. God loves you so much. And then Jean, I saw a picture of you um, going to the eye doctor and how God was totally restoring your vision and eyesight. And God has called you to be a visionary. God has called you to um, have strategy. And I, I just feel how God is really, um, is going to give you a lot of clarity for the future and where to go. So I just feel the Lord is really speaking to you for, for the goals for next year for your blueprint that He wants to do for your life. And then, um, Jean, I also felt how the Lord was also strengthening your teeth. And I saw a picture of you going to the dentist and I saw how you were able to chew and receive food also represents the Word of God. And I just saw how you were able to not have like milk anymore, but like, like meat. And I just feel the Lord says, I want to give you something so much more. So I just feel the Lord says, you're going to take um, a whole new um, goodness from me. I just feel God is just really going to bless you of goodness. God loves you. God bless you. Uh, our next word is for Jane Coop. Jane, I saw how God showed me that you should prepare yourself for like a ceremony. Um, I just felt like how God showed me that you're going to go into a ceremony with him and I feel like at this ceremony you're going to have renewing of a covenant. You're going to have a, a like a, a, a not like a conversation, but a ceremony with God where you make a new covenant with Him. And I feel like how oh, this covenant is going to help you for your day-to-day, -day, creating a routine or just knowing and having a covenant with God um, 
where you where you do stuff that that God wants you to do and you make a covenant with God and I just feel like how God shows me how this covenant how this ceremony is going to help you to go to the next level where you're going to start to grow more you're going to feel more his presence you're just going to mm-hmm. like learn more things of the spiritual realm be blessed thank you Jane for being here tonight please remember right to say comment the next word is for John John, the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you. I saw a picture of you walking with a crutch and you like very stiff and sore. And then I just see how the Lord says stretch and uh, how you actually go from being uh, walking with a crutch where you actually use the crutch to play golf. So I see the Lord wants you to be active. The Lord wants to restore you so that your body is renewed, restored. Um, I just see things will start to work out for you, especially in your body. All of the challenges challenges in your body it's going to gain momentum you're going to get new grease in all of your joints that you need okay. grease and i just see how the lord says it's going to be well with you be blessed amen john please leave us a comment this next word is for almany the lord shows me how how he is taking out um how he is taking out weeds out of your garden how the weeds that were planted inside of your mind the lord is removing those those negative thoughts he is taking those out and even though the lord shows me that he has multiple times taken out the same weed but how sometimes we feed this weed and we and even throughout our normal days we say I'm allowing this back in me. And and sometimes we don't even realize it, but our heart just, just allows it in. And the Lord says that he wants you to put a strong tower around your heart, almost like, not in a cage, but in a protective box that nothing that wants to enter in that can come and enter in and, and make make its place in your mind that you guard your heart with the word of the Lord that those roots, that those weeds cannot find good soil in your mind. Be blessed. Hey, Almani, God bless you. God's uh, hand is upon you, Almani. Uh, Almani, I just see a uh, helmet of protection that God places upon on your head so when harsh words come to you just let it fall off of you you know when they always talk about a duck the duck's feathers got oil on it so when water fall on it the duck doesn't even get cold and I just feel when um, ungodly words come to you let it just roll off of you and rather believe what God is speaking over you God bless you Almighty okay Josita yeah uh, Josita yeah. is it Josita okay uh, so Josita I'm sitting the furthest away from that screen, so I'm always trying to see if I read it nicely, but what what I felt the Lord was um, saying to me about you is that you are going to get approved for education, and I saw how you applied, and it looked like you were not going to get it, and then there was only like two or three positions left over, and then you were almost like the last one that they said, no, you're approved, you can come through. And then there was favor in, the, in terms of finances, of opportunity, of getting a good mentor, a good place uh, where you can position yourself so that you can get all the training uh, to go to the next level that's part of your calling and your level. But I just felt, I just saw, saw that approval. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. God loves you. Please leave a comment. And everybody that, that's commenting, um, thank you. It, it always helps and it always is so encouraging. Um, keep on praying for each other and let's keep on giving glory to God. So this next word is for Kushi. Kushi, God loves you so much. Awesome to see you. So the picture God showed me for you was um, this field of beautiful white flowers and they were so stunning but I I saw how the Lord says it's now time to add color to this and then I saw how all of a sudden it just got all vibrant and I I just feel how the Lord says he's really breaking you away um, from the way you thought it was supposed to be to his thoughts and and I just feel how the Lord is really putting you in training right now and then I saw how you how you God gave you like these new boxing gloves and how the Lord is training you how to box and obviously you got to have good posture and you got to do the steps right otherwise you're going to hurt yourself and I just feel how the Lord is really training you up to be a person of excellence and he's really prepping you this time and he's also I just saw a lot of people around you that were like they also had boxing gloves and it was like it was quite a similar assignment but you all work together and I just feel how the Lord says I'm going to I'm raising up a team and I'm calling you to be like a leader and a mentor in this team Um, because she 
God loves you so much. And I just really feel the Lord says that I, my covering is, a, is upon you. And, and I, I just feel it's like a ring of fire around you. God is with you. God loves you, Kushi. God bless you. Our next word is for Annie. Um, I saw when I prayed for you, I saw how God showed me how you're sitting with um, a bottle of ink, that like, small bottles of ink and like a, a feather that you're dipping in the ink and you're writing a letter. And I just felt like how God showed me that every day you're sitting and you're like spending time with God and God gives you revelations and you start to write it down. But I feel like how the, 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 the book that you're writing it down, it's like your heart and you're writing it on your heart. And I just feel like how it becomes permanent in your heart when you start to write it down and every day the revelations on the, and the things that God gives you, you start to write it on your heart. And then I just see how like um, every day, it's like your heart is like growing and growing and growing it's become bigger and bigger and bigger and I just feel like how God shows me because of this process how your heart is becoming so big that the people around you is like starting to 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 get a bit of um, the things that that God is showing you how you like sharing it with them as well how like every day that you're sharing with them how they're starting to grow as well be blessed Thank you, Annie, for being here tonight. Please remember, write us a comment. The next word is for Johan. Johan, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I saw, I'm not sure what you call that. I don't think it's a game, but it's a, anyway, competition where the two horses with the riders and the lances go opposite joust. directions and joust. Okay, they joust each other, something like that. But I see you've got an advantage. Your lance is longer. And I see the more you pray, the longer your lance get. So every time the enemy comes, you've got an advantage over the enemy. And you just knock him down and down and down. So even when there's a, um, let's say, you break your lance, you keep on praying, I just see how it grows back and back again. So sometimes you feel discouraged, but just know in the spirit, there's tremendous impact, there's tremendous advantage. I see you going through a difficult time, but keep on praying. It's working even though it doesn't feel like that. You definitely have the upper hand. Be blessed. Amen, Jan, please leave us a comment. This next word is for Peter. Peter, the Lord says, put on his armor, his whole armor. And the, and I hear the Lord saying that that armor is that you need to see yourself the way the Lord sees you. The Lord sees you as a mighty warrior, as, a, as somebody who has a mouth that is on fire, that when you speak, there is power. And that is how the Lord sees you. He doesn't see you as a timid shy, weak person. He says, son, I have given you authority as your inheritance. This is your inheritance. And the Lord says, you can, you can take this now and multiply it and multiply this strength, this, this authority that the Lord has given to you and always, always give him glory because this is a gift that he has given to you. And the Lord shows me how this will, will bring so much multiplication in your life. Be blessed. Hey, Peter, God bless you. Uh, as a family, I saw there was quite a few people in the comments that write about the, the sound. Uh, we are recording it, so the sound that we're getting here is perfect, clear, clean. We don't know why it's not going well, because uh, even now um, uh, I did a speed test on the internet, and it says um, 40 megabytes up, 40 megabytes down. So there's nice internet speed. There's no reason why we should not have clear sound, but Straight after this, I will post the recording onto Unity with Heaven and you guys can go back and listen to it. Okay, so Yolandi, um, the Lord is giving you tonight a mantle of prophetic prayer ministry. Now, what happens? We're not always allowed to prophesy wherever we go, even me. If people don't allow me to prophesy or they don't accept it, then that's a boundary, I can't do it. Even if I feel like doing it, then I'm overstepping my boundary and there's not a blessing on it. But most people are open to pray. You can ask any person, can I pray for you? So I'm gonna just now pray for you, just to give you a demonstration of a prophetic prayer ministry, okay? So uh, Father, I come and I pray for you, Landi, tonight. 
And Lord, even as she start to use this mantle of the prophetic prayer ministry that you're giving to her, Lord, I pray, Lord, that the thoughts, the images, the words of wisdom, the word of knowledge will just flow through her, that the river of life will flow through her and bring healing into the lives of people that she touch as she pray. And Lord, I see many, many people there at the base where she works, uh, people that are not even open for a lot of God, come to her and say, can you please pray for me? And then she lay her hands on them and she pray and there is a flow of the power of God through her. God bless you, Yolandi. Wow, that was powerful. God loves you, Yolandi. God bless you. This next word is for Mishka. Mishka, God loves you very much. And I, I just, I saw a picture of how um, God is doing such amazing healing in your life. Um, the, the picture God showed me for you, it was like you got out of this situation, like this battlefield, and you had like this, even this, like this cuts on your hand. And I just saw God is completely healing you. And I just feel the Lord says, that I'm wiping away all fear from the past and I am giving I am I'm your protection I am your shield but at the same time God does give you a defense I just see how the Lord is actually like giving you like the spear and I just feel how the Lord says walk with me keep on um, in your day-to-day -day life walk with me and I just feel that that is your calling to walk with God and to have a relationship with God wherever you go and then the next picture God showed me for you was a grapevine and it was, it was like, I just feel how the Lord says, I'm strengthening this, uh, I'm strengthening you um, as a vine, um, and as a, as a branch. And I am, I'm also calling you to, um, I just feel like multiplication. God is really going to bring more and it's going to be sweet. And I, I, I know with, I don't know how, if it's this, probably, it's probably the same with wine. I mean, I mean, um, um, Ugh, grapes um, but I know when you grow strawberries the first time they, they the strawberries come in the first um in the first year, the strawberries are, are bitter and they're not sweet. But then during the years, as, as you're growing the strawberry plants, it becomes sweet. And I just feel how the Lord says that even if it's right now not the way you hope it's going to be, the Lord says next year it's going to be sweeter. Next year it's going to be sweeter. So I just feel that's what the plan that God has for you. God loves you so much. God bless you, Mishka. Our next word is for Chukwani. Um, I saw when I prayed for you, I saw like how you're laying on a, in, in the hospital, in a hospital bed. And I saw like how you connected to a heart machine. And then I just saw like how your heart rate rhythm is not like a good rhythm. It's like not the way that it should it's supposed to be. Then I saw somebody came into the room and they like injected you with a, a, a needle or something like that. Well, a syringe or a needle or whatever and I felt like how it was God's spirit being injected into you and I felt like when that happened how you your heart started to become it started to beat the correct rhythm and I just feel like how God shows me that when you're like in his spirit or when his spirit is inside of you and when you spend like more time with him how your heart will be restored how your heart will be healed and i just feel like how god shows me as well how he's like placing his hand upon your head and he's like praying for you when he prayed for you i felt like how your thoughts started to become the thoughts that god's cut God planned for you or the, the, the things that God is speaking over you, how your thoughts and God's thoughts started to align and I just felt like how your life and God's life started became the, the correct frequency or the frequency started to align with God's word. Be blessed. Thank you, Chukwani, for being here tonight. Please remember, write to say comment. The next word is for Rieta. Rieta, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I saw a picture of you standing in a window and you're opening the curtains and the Lord says, look out, look out and see. Um, and the same as with uh, Elijah, they send out his servant to say, uh, go and look if there's a cloud in the air. And it said a cloud as small as a fist. And then he knew the breakthrough is coming. So even though it may seem small and insignificant, the evidence will be there. The evidence will start to activate your faith. And the more you activate your faith and you use your faith and you believe and you pray about it, I just see the more bigger and bigger uh, it becomes. So the situation that you're in, be on the lookout. Look even for small, um, small evidence and use your faith. Be blessed. 
Amen. Please leave us a comment. This next word is for Leah. The Lord shows me how you are so precious to him. He says, do not underestimate yourself because you are so, so wonderful. And the Lord is calling you to be a, a daughter, a mother, someone who who can provide in, in, in a such like a loving way. The Lord shows me how he's giving you such a loving and welcoming heart to welcome the lost and to and to invite them in and and not like a like a shove like you need to come in but like a caring saying this is this is the only way you can survive when you come into shelter when you come into safety when you come into the home of the father that he will protect you and love you and care for you and that is the the message that the lord has given to you to share be blessed hey leah god bless you all right so uh family i just want to just remind you, uh, if the sound is still not good, um, I, I don't know, but I'm going to take this whole recording and I will uh, post it uh, and that will have super clear sound so you'll be able to listen to it. Uh, also, get yourself some communion. We're going to have some juice and uh, bread together just uh, now. We're going to probably minister to about 40 people or so. And then we're going to all take communion together. And Ian is going to do communion for us tonight. So we're very excited about that. So um, the next person is Liana. Okay, so Liana, uh, the Lord showed me uh, you like a paramedic. And so you uh, ran uh, uh, and you were the first person on the scene to help. And you, you understood what to do to stabilize the person, uh, to help them with their blood pressure, if there was cuts, to, to help them with their neck and their back, uh, to, to be straight and to be comfortable. Um, and, and you had all the knowledge. But then I saw you got home and then you were this massive artist. And you were painting and drawing and making music and worship was flowing out of you. Uh, and then when people were talking to you, you would talk about all kinds of things. It's like very wide knowledge. Uh, knowledge about, about a lot of things and having a lot of had experiences in your life. And I just felt that the Lord says to you, daughter, I'm going to give you a full life. And although you already had a full life, it's still going to be full. And what makes it so full is you're going to be able to help so many people and bless so many people in so many ways. God bless you. Amen. That was very powerful. Powerful. God loves you, Liana. This next word is for Amanda. Amanda, God loves you very much. The picture God showed me for you was how the Lord is like training you to be like a... Um, a short distance runner and I I I was with my friend the other day and she runs and I, I saw that they were talking about how to start your run and it, it's like you they kind of like leap from from that step and and it, it's like there's it's like it's really technical the way they they place their arms the way they face their head down and slowly um, come up so they can bring so much speed to that start and I just feel the Lord says don't underestimate the starts and I just feel but the thing is they kept on going I think they ran we ran for over like over 20 times definitely and, and then was like this short it wasn't so far <laughs> and we kept on doing that for like so long and and I just feel felt to the Lord Lord says that God is he really wants you to start your day um, with him and he's going to train you how to do it because that's going to bring a lot of breakthrough a lot of solutions and a lot of peace over your life and uh, and I feel the Lord says it's not really the way you think it's going to be um, spend some time with the Holy Spirit and ask him how he's going to do it um, but I feel there's a very specific way of how the Lord wants you to start your mornings and also when you start um, even the way you talk to people in the beginning of conversations and how you allow the Holy Spirit to come. I just really feel you have a ministry to engage and to speak wisdom and love and healing over people when they talk to you, even if you're talking about something as random as a, like a recipe or something. I just feel the Lord says there is so much love and anointing through your words and the way you talk. So the Lord says, don't let the enemy make you go quiet. Speak. Um, God loves you so much, Amanda. God bless you. Our next word is for Gloria Nasali. 
Gloria, I saw how God came up with like a teaspoon of sugar and he threw the sugar into your mouth. And I just felt like how God is saying that he's anointing your mouth to speak the mm-hmm. word of God. I see like how God shows me that how you were like hidden in like the corner. And I see like how God takes you out of the corner and he like puts you on center stage. And when he does that, I feel like how God also like gives you the boldness to speak the words that he's given you. Yeah. I see like how God gives you like new revelations and just like new things coming out of your mouth. I see like how you take the word of God. Scriptures are being broken open and when they are being broken open, they start to pour out like a flood from your mouth um, just like when they when they come out of the out of your mouth I see like how like a room full of people as being trans transformed or being renewed or just being changed and I just see like how God shows me that when you speak his anointing will flow be blessed thank you Gloria for being here tonight please remember I to say comment the next word is for Shambhaga Shambhaga the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you uh, I see how you're waiting on the Lord and you are hopefully while you're waiting. And I see the Lord says it's a very good thing because remember, hope is a very important aspect in your, your Christian walk because that's a, a, a faith is a substance of things hoped for. So you need hope. And I just see how you are hopeful. And the Lord says, I see you. I know you. I hear you. Um, and I just see how the Lord says, keep on. You're doing the right thing. I work through it. Work at it. Um, even though it feels ta- it takes time, I see your hope is like a flower uh, that was planted. And first, you had to um, prepare the the soil, then the seed, then the flower. The, the plant started to grow and you're almost at the pl- place where the flower starts to bloom and that's where you want to be so it's working you're go- working at it but you will see the results in due time be blessed Emma Shenbaga please 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 leave us a comment this next word is for TJ the Lord shows me um, you with your hands it shows me one hand is in a fist and the other hand is open and this fist is like an anointing for 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 a very very intense inter seating and prayer for breakthrough and and this hand is like the soft side where you can just pray and be by the Lord and hear from him almost when when your hands are open that you sit in silence just to receive when your hands are closed it's almost like the Lord shows me how you're just praying in tongues and like throwing your fists that you that you know that what, what you're saying this this mystery that you're praying is for for breakthrough but the Lord also shows me how how that is for secret place. That is for private time between you and the Lord and how you must have your hands open when you are around others. And I see how you kind of link in with, with like your community and you come into unity and then there is blessing there. And and when you are in one place with in, in one accord that you pray and you declare one thing, there will be power and that will come to pass. Be blessed. Hey, TJ, uh, God bless you. Uh, uh, so, family, um, uh, we're going to uh, minister probably till maybe 42 people. <laughs> and then uh, after that, we'll take some communion to, uh, together so you can just get some juice and a cracker or water and bread. Whatever you have available is fine. Uh, Jan is going to do communion for us tonight. And also, just remember, I'm recording this, so I will be posting this a little bit later. Okay, so... Um, uh, the, uh, the Lord shows me how you are a, a fighter all right, and how you discipline your body and you keep on fighting and you know a, a fighter is, is very very hard because a fighter needs to be able to take a lot of punches uh, in the face and on their body and still keep on breathing, keep on focusing and keep on fighting um, uh, and so therefore fighters are usually very very tough people I, I 100% are convinced I will not be a good fighter okay <laughs> Um, so, uh, but then uh, Paul also says, also just like a, a runner, and now I'm not bad at running, uh, when a, a runner also disciplines his body and he runs to win the race. And I just felt that the Lord says that life is no, not going to treat you with um, soft little, uh, little gloves 
uh, and be kind to you always. Sometimes you're gonna have to fight, but the Lord says he's putting big angels right next to you with big swords, and you're gonna overcome, you're gonna kill many demons and many dragons and many of your family members that the enemy wants to take into darkness. You're gonna rescue them and you're gonna bring them into the light and you're gonna build a wall and you're gonna stand and you're gonna overcome because you are a warrior. Amen. Tabocho, you are victorious. God loves you and God is with you. God loves you so much. Um, this next word is for Lydia. Lydia, God loves you very much. The picture God showed me for you was, um, so you know in an aquarium, um, those places with, and there's glass. And I feel like there was like a fear that the glass is going to break. And I just feel how the Lord says that um, he's, he's really... He's taking away all fear and he's giving you a confirmation that it won't break. And I just saw how how the Lord is actually taking you out of that place even. And he's placing you like in a bigger environment, a stronger glass. And I just feel the Lord says the glass is not going to break. I'm with you. I'm your shield. And I just feel the Lord says do not um, look at your surroundings. Stay focused on me. And then um, Lydia, I also saw a picture of um, purple linen and I just saw how, and obviously purple linen in, in the old Jesus time it was like royalty um, that the, the, that's the color they would wear because it was such a very expensive dye and I actually saw how the Lord is calling you to to wear it but also to produce it as well and it's really and I, and I just saw how um, people are going to buy it from you and it's going to be a new source of income so I just feel the Lord is really opening up a door for business in your life and God is really giving you favor of that God loves you so much God bless you. Okay, our next word is for Ari McFarlane. Ari, Ari, I saw like how God showed me like you're busy with with a project and you've been busy with this project for quite a while, but you're like getting very really discouraged. You're getting tired. It feels like it doesn't get finished. And I just feel like how God comes and he gives you new strength. He gives you new energy. He gives you new motivation to finish this project. And I just see like how God shows that his hand of favor is on this project. I see how God shows me that how he's like sending people. He's sending resources. He's just sending you whatever you need to finish this project. And I just feel like how God is encouraging you as well that when you feel the film when you like when this project is like finished how god shows me that how you'll be strengthened and how you'll be so glad and so like motivated to start with something new and i feel like how god shows me that when you allow people to help you with this as well how you'll just like grow new relationships and just grow new 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 things in your life how new things will start to grow in your life be blessed Thank you, Ari, for being here tonight. Please remember write us a comment. Uh, the next word is for Louise. Louise, the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you. Um, I saw a picture of the centurion where he, when the Lord came to, to, to pray for his servant, um, he said, Lord, you don't need to come in. I know and I understand how authority works. Just speak a word. And the Lord marveled at his faith because he says, in the whole of Israel, I haven't seen this faith. And I just see in your ministry, Keep on believing because because you believe the authority will start to work. It will be activated. I see in your life, but also it will bring things into perspective. So authority, you need to believe and trust in the Lord that his authority is supreme. When the Lord said it will be, that is what will happen. You need to work your life around what God says because it will happen. Be blessed. And then Louise, please leave us a comment. This next word is for Barnabas. The Lord shows me how he is giving you more. He is giving you more meat. How he is giving you something more, more heavy, more flavorful, more depth into his word, into who he is. The Lord says that right now I'm not going to be feeding you. I'm not going to be giving you any more of the light stuff. No more milk for you. I see how that line has been completely cut off from you. The Lord says that I'm giving you the purest of the purest at like almost when you make essential oils it is so so concentrated and the Lord shows me that is what he is giving to you he says my son I'm going to focus you in on the real things on 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 the deep stuff the Lord shows me and he says that that 
it in my, that stuff is going to come in slowly. It's going to get a little bigger and then a little bigger and then a little bigger. But the Lord says that your appetite is ready for it, that you are ready for his newness, for new revelation. Be blessed. Hey, Barnabas, God bless you. Uh, so the next word is for Olu. Olu, I, I see how the Lord disconnect you from the world economy and how you connect with the economy of heaven. And the, the picture that the Lord showed me, he showed me cows and chickens. It doesn't matter if the price of the milk went up or down or the chicken eggs price went up and down. That had no effect on you because you every day had that, uh, I don't know what, what, how many gallons of milk did I get every day. Probably three and a half gallons of milk every day from a cow. All, right, all the people with cows here can tell me, but I think it's three and a half gallons, if I'm correct, of, of milk every day. Uh, but I see you get that, that amount of milk, maybe four gallons of milk every single day from your cow. You get every day from your chickens, at least one egg for each chicken every day. And I just felt that the Lord says that he's going to supernaturally open up resources and supply to you. And even if everybody around you say, but there's no jobs, there's no money, money value fall, things is not going well, the government is not managing things well, the Lord says it's not going to have any effect on you because I'm going to supply to you. And just like the Israelites when they were in the desert, they were there, it was drought, it, there was not food, there was nothing, but the whole time God supernaturally gave them water, gave them manna, gave them quail, yet the Israelites sometimes said, no, we want to go back to the, the pots of Egypt. But the Lord said, no, I'm giving you manna. And I feel that the Lord says, trust in me. I'm giving you what you need. God bless you. Amen. God loves you. God bless you. This next word is for Caroline. Caroline, God loves you very much. Um, the picture God showed me for you, you know the story about the lady in the vessels when the prophet came to her and said, pour out, um, pour out that um, oil and then get all these vessels together, then pour out oil and then watch it multiply. And then she got to fill all of that, all of these vessels with oil and then she got to sell it. And and I just feel the Lord says faith. You need faith, but also it takes action. And I just see how you pour that in faith, um, the oil into the pots and how, and, and then before your eyes, there the, the miracle happens. So I just feel the Lord says now's the time to take action. And then I saw a picture of how your whole the area where you're right now in your life, that the, the, the area that you're in right now, it's like it, there's a drought. But I feel the Lord says, I'm calling you to be a fountain. Um, so I just feel the Lord says, you're there for a reason. So I feel the Lord says, even though there's a lot of doubt going on and a lot of battles and war, the Lord is calling you to be a fountain. So just receive his love and, and just don't draw from people. People are empty and broken. The Lord says, draw from me and you will be a fountain of love and peace and healing to so many people. Um, Caroline, God loves you so much. God bless you. Our next word is for Caroline Lewis, uh, his, her brother-in-law. Um, I just felt like how God showed me when I prayed for you, how you know when you like playing guitar, but the guitar is not in tune, how it's like actually making like a disturbing noise. It's not making a nice frequency or nice mm -hmm. noise and I just felt like our God showed me how your spirit and his spirit's gonna be aligned and I felt like how you're like you're the guitar and you're gonna be like in God is gonna tune your uh, start to tune you and when you like it's gonna be it's beca gonna become like a beautiful frequency or be it's gonna become like a beautiful noise that's being made and I just felt like how God showed me by doing that how restoration is gonna happen how like a new sound is going to be created and I just felt like how God showed me that the frequency alignment alignment is going to be restored be blessed thank you Caroline for being here tonight Please remember right to say comment the next word is for Irakuz, Irakuze, I'm not sure how to pronounce your name, but the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. That's what matters. Okay, I saw a picture of you of a door that opened. It's a big door in your life and you walk through it, but you need to stay humble. Don't accept the temptation of pride. Even if you work hard for it, see it as a gift. When you see it as a gift, you will appreciate it and you will stay humble. But as soon as you feel like you deserve what you have worked for, I just see how the enemy wants to lure you away and he wants to take you away from what God actually 
uh, open up for you. Yeah. Yes, I can see you work hard for it, but you need to see it as a gift. And if you stay humble, I just see how you enjoy it more and more and more. And I, I really see how the Lord is, um, you worked hard and the Lord is uh, proud of you where you, what you have accomplished and achieved, but do not be prideful because that will be a pitfall. Be blessed. Amen. <laughs> right, as a comment, this next word is for Tatu. The Lord says that, that He will meet you where you are. But I hear the Lord saying that He will come look for you like He looked for, for, for Adam and Eve when they sinned. They, and even though the Lord knew exactly where they are, He still comes. Where are you? Why are you hiding from me? I hear the Lord saying that you cannot hide from him and he doesn't want you to hide from him he doesn't want you to feel like you need to hide this and this from him the lord shows me when those emotions start to bubble up bring it to the feet of jesus immediately don't let it start to brew and 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 start to continue the lord says cut it down immediately that it is not a shameful thing to to notice sin in your life and and bring it straight to jesus because he has paid for that that is he wants us to bring it to him that is why he paid the price he doesn't want us to deal with it by by ourselves so take it to the Lord and he shows me how he gives you beauty for ashes and he heals you because you make a choice to release it unto the Lord and he helps you to grow you in, in, the, in the person that he wants you to be. Be blessed. Hey, Tatu, God bless you. Uh, so uh, next word is for Victor. Uh, so Victor, I'm quickly tell you a story. So uh, I, I went to Mexico uh, for two months to do ministry and it was 40 churches uh, and we did two services for each one of the, the, the churches so it was 80 services but, but we did three services a day in the morning and the afternoon and then in the evening but I only had one worship team <laughs> so what the worship team would do they played the same three songs in the morning and in the afternoon because then it's, it's, it's a church and of co course after that two sessions that church is gone they get the new church out then that two churches does two, two services again. So that band did then that same three songs that they did the first service on the first church, I do it again, and then the same three songs on the second church. And then they did that 40 times. <laughs> then eight, but it's 80 services now. Anyway, but they got this one guy who's playing that bongos, and it's like a cha 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 samba type of a rhythm. So it's not typical like you would hear in, a, in a Western music. Um, Anyway, so, uh, and I also play a little bit drum, so I also went and I tried to, to play like that. But I saw you the whole time, like that drummer, just playing the, the rhythm, playing the rhythm. And you know, that rhythm brings with it praise, it brings with it uh, being a warrior in the army of God, brings with it walking in pace, not giving up, 80 services, if you try, try it three a day, see how hard that is, that was very hard. Uh, but they kept going, that rhythm. And I just felt that the Lord says, walk with my rhythm, don't st uh, come, come out of step. Uh, don't give the flesh space, but keep with that rhythm of the spirit. And you're going to overcome, you're going to win, and you're going to, although this is a heart like a marathon that you feel like you're going through in your life, you're going to overcome and you're going to win. God bless you. Amen. Wow, that was a very cool word. God loves you, Victor. God bless you. Wow, that's a lot of services. <laughs> that's a strategy. Um, this next word is for Lewis. Um, Louise, uh, is it Louise or Lewis? Lewis. Lewis. Okay, I got it right the first time. Lewis, God loves you very much. So while praying for you, the picture God showed me for you was um, was how you were going into different rooms, um, open doors and opportunities and different seasons in your life. But it was like God gave you... Um, like gave you all this building equipment and you're like you're not a builder and like why lord and then all of a sudden the next day there's like a building opportunity you're making this house and then after that season um but before you get into the next season i see how god gives you all this doctor's gear and you're like okay why god and then the next day now you are um healing people helping i'm um, praying for people to get healed and you're like a doctor to them and then the next day god gives you like a, a pencil and a and a paper and a guitar and you're like why and then the next day you're a worship 
worship. So I just feel the Lord says that I have a plan for you, just like Joseph went through all that process. But the thing with Joseph is he was he was in the situation he was in and he was faithful. God was with him and he kept on growing and developing. And if he didn't go through all of that training, um, he wouldn't have been ready to be Pharaoh's second um, guy and to, to help everybody with the famine and to do the calling, the purpose God has given him. So I just feel the Lord says, yes, it is different. Yes, these are different scenarios, but I am calling you to be excellent and do it the best of you can. That's like the greatest gift you can give me of worship. And I just see how your actions are like worship to God. And I just feel the Lord says, you are called to be a leader. And then in the future, and also last thing, it's going to be very funny. There's going to be some funny moments that are coming. And I just feel in the future that you are really called to be like a leader for young people, for youth. And you're going to share all these experiences, these funny stories, these amazing things and miracles that God has done in your life. But I just feel the Lord says, just do it with excellence. God loves you so much. God bless you, Lewis. Thank you, Lewis, for being here tonight. Please remember to write us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Now it's time for communion. So I urge you, get your bread, your cracker, um, your wine, your water, your juice, whatever you feel is, whatever you have. Okay, so this is the body of Jesus Christ that was broken for us. And I just see how we come as a family. It's not that we are excluded. And I see how the Lord says, I have paid the price so that I can give you what I want to give you. So Jesus got the authority above all authority. So even if he weren't allowed to give you something and he wanted to give you something that he's got, he says, I've got all authority in heaven and on earth. And we need to realize that as we take this bread, that we are part of the family. And I just see how a lot of people say, I'm not worthy to take the blood, uh, the body of Jesus Christ. Now I just see how the Lord shows me the parable of the prodigal son where that son realized I messed up I'm excluded from um, a lot of blessings and he just he went back to be a slave but he wanted to have a different master he didn't want to be his own master he didn't want to be a master of somebody else even if he was his father is not his father anymore but becomes his master he was fine with that now just see how the lord says with that heart he came not expecting but he received what the lord actually wanted to give to him so come with a humble heart not because we deserve this no, it's because it is a gift. It has been paid for. And I just see we want a different master. And our master is the father. Amen. The father wants us as children. But we come to him and say, Lord, I, I want you to be my master. And I just see how the father says, now you are my children. Now you are my child. And I see because of the blood of the, the, the body of Christ and the blood of the lamb, how we get that gift we can accept that gift. We are allowed to receive that gift, not because of our own doing, but because of the body of Christ. Now just see, as you take it, just see that you are worthy to become a son and a daughter of God. So this is the body that has been broken for us. And I want you, as you take it, just see how the Lord embrace you, even though you are dirty, even though you are not perfect how he embraces you and he says welcome home amen <clears throat> yes amen lord thank you lord and the blood of the lamb this is the new testament now because you have come back home the new testament is yours and i just see how many promises there are, how exciting new life there is. So it is as the Israelites came out of slavery and with that slavery mindset that wanted to inherit the promises. And I just feel how the Lord says, this is to cleanse your conscience, to renew your conscience, conscience that is seared to restore your conscience so that you can come with a clean conscience to the Lord and he's going to speak to your conscience and he's going to speak to you he's going to guide you um, that is the New Testament and I just see as you take the blood just see how your conscience is, be, is being washed clean cleansed of all unrighteous thoughts even thoughts to say 
I am useless, God created a mistake, and I just see how the Lord says, I'm restoring. Uh, there's, there's a specific person that says, no, you don't understand what I've done. I just see how the Father says, you don't understand how much I love you. And this, as you take it, just see how your DNA changes, how your mentality changes, how your thought process changes because of what Christ has done for us. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And I'm just reminded again as the, they brought the woman that was caught in the act of adultery, they brought her to the Lord and the Lord says, you know what, I'm not judging you. I'm judging you unto life. Go and sin no more. I want to give you restoration. I want to give you a gift that nobody else could give you. And that is to say, even though you feel worthless, I'm cleansing you body soul and spirit now i feel that's the gift that the lord presents to us and we remind we need to remind ourselves daily what the lord has done for us this is why we take communion i thank you for enjoying communion with us Do you want to close okay. awesome thank you family thank you Ian. it's so wonderful for us to work together as a team that Ian could do communion tonight and that we sure. gonna sit here and minister so it's interesting uh, before we 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 um, come on live uh, I would usually pray a little bit in tongues just to stir up my spirit but I don't know who's going to come up who am I going to minister to what it is going to be about but we just make ourselves available to say to the Lord Lord use me and you know what you can have that same attitude every day in life you just walk into life and say Lord here I am I'm ready, minister to me. So I, I just asked Ian when we were busy with number 41, uh, if he can do the communion. And he's like, no, 100% he will do communion. <laughs> no. So that's so that and that's that's how God wants us to be, ready in season and out of season. So I love and appreciate each one of you. Um, I'm going to repost this so that you can have a version with good sound. And we're going to be back again Monday evening with the team to minister to you. And also, I'll every day minister to 10 people. So, um, lots of love from, from our side. Also, there's a few of you that gave money tonight. I just want to say thank you. Thank you very much. God bless you. May he multiply back to you. It is so wonderful. Thank you. Have a good evening. Please subscribe to our channel and sign up for our newsletter. If you would like to receive personal prophetic ministry, you can join our live stream on Mondays and Fridays. If you enjoyed this content and you want to see more, please click here.